All right, here we are at the end of the road to nowhere, and hopefully in a short period of time, that road will lead to somewhere, which is right over there. Now, guess what? Guess how far it is from right here to right there? Would you believe it's two miles? Two miles from me to the other side of this creek. You ain't no damn way, dude. Ain't about 30 feet. Yeah, but we ain't been able to cross it, so anytime we wanted to come from here to go over there, all the way back to the tractor shed, down the road, etc., down the highway, come in the big pasture. It's two miles to get to right over there. So that has uh, been the whole purpose of the road to nowhere. Uh, finally get our bridge built. This is the first time since we've owned this property that this creek has been dry. We had unseasonably uh, dry weather the past two months, but it has afforded us the ability to actually walk down in the creek and get this stuff done. Now, uh, obviously we got some work done already. Uh, Hunter was unavailable. I think he went to a football game last weekend. So a guy who works with me, uh, retired from the fire department with me, came and helped me. And uh, we used that hammer and uh, put in these three pylons, braced them up, and just set our beams across the top. They've not been anchored. But today, uh, what we're going to uh, show you is, is we, how we did it because we have to do a middle section. And Hunter's going to uh, help with that. So this is a, probably a first video and one or two videos on this bridge till we get finished. Uh, so let's get going. If you can barely tell it in the camera, Hunter's pointing it up the road there. We've got an audience. About, uh, <laughs> eight, seven, seven or eight, I think. Seven or eight turkeys come across and crossing the road. I can see them mm -hmm. really good in their heads, right where we just crossed with the tractor and the uh, commander. Interesting. Are these gonna be 16 at the ends? And then our beams are 16 to lay across, so. I hope it's 16. Yeah. That's yeah. a good idea to go measure. <laughs> yeah. Patrick, you better not have messed up on these steel beams being 16 foot. No, I believe you did a good job, though. <laughs> So we secured our beams. Now people love to pick stuff apart on uh, YouTube. And uh, this is our first side me and Eddie was doing. We got off on the first one. That's why it looks a little off. But we're gonna take care of it here uh, in the center. Hunter's marking us off. He is center to center of the present pylon, seven foot two. And uh, we got them spaced out eight foot apart. So we're just gonna set the pylons up and get the hammering. I can push it over if it's balanced. I got it. Good deal. I got it. <laughs> right on the hole, too. That was easier than I thought. Cool. I need a, uh, yeah. Good stuff. So this is about the sketchiest work platform I've ever, I've ever done. Actually, we did, 
one other with the excavator when we were putting trusses up on a boathouse over at the pond. But um, basically what we're fixing to do is, is we're gonna take our excavator and we took our mud mats and made us a ramp to get up on. Now, I'm only gonna get as, as far as we have to to get those uh, pylons out in the middle of the creek. We don't want no weight on our new pylons because it's, it doesn't have a lot of structure uh, integrity, uh, structural integrity, if you will, until the bridge is, is finally built and all assembled. This is sketchy as crap ramp uh, to get the excavator up there. So let's go. This one's, this one's heavier. Any help? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that was heavier than that, that first one. I don't know how you gonna do that. Holy. Like that. That man strength. That's old man strength. Go that way a little bit. Stop. Hammer her home. Just pull it backwards. Okay, hit it, hit it, hit it. Good. I like having crap to do crap when you're ready to do crap. Let's finish this last pile on. It is. All right. All right, time to brace these off. We were sitting here earlier when we got started. There were turkeys up here. And then uh, a minute ago, a buck come across. Hunter went to get a socket because we've got some big old lag bolts put these in with these screws are just tem uh, temporary or to help hold in place till we can get the big ones in on the other side Sharp, sharp saw. Hey, Hunter. Yeah. Did you order an eight by eight? I did. Here you go. <laughs> hey, that's a uh, redneck Amazon Prime right there. That's right. Let's see. Uh, uh, Pick it up. <laughs> I got it. You say you do. See, these are 12 foot. Mm -hmm. That's a 10 footer. And the and the beams uh, that, that go, or joists, whatever you want to call them, is go on here and be eight foot. So long as it's outside that, we're all good. We're gonna have the four by 12 here. 
steel, 4 by 12, 4 by 12, 4 by 12, steel, 4 by 12, and it's 8 foot wide, so you're going to have about a foot off the edge, and then when we put our deck boards, our deck boards are going to hang off about a foot. Okay. You'll never be, should never be driving any further than wide, 8 feet wide. Yeah. And I don't know how wide a D3 dozer is, but I don't think I would want one on this bridge. <laughs> All right, so we built a deck a while back, and this is very similar. What goes under the floor joist, the way you're building it wood on wood, it, this underneath part doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Now, it needs to be close, and, and as long as it's under, and as long as it's flat, we laser leveled it flat, because these, these uh, eight by eights are 10 foot, these are 12, and our 4 by 12s are going to be only 8 foot wide. So as long as we can center up that 8 foot wide uh, width on these, then anything extra is, doesn't matter on the uh, accuracy for us. Now, you know, like I say, you pick this thing apart, but this is a way to do it. Didn't say it was the way to do it. This is the way we did it. And by the time you watch some of these videos, too late. We ain't changed it. So you saw us using our rotating grapple. It's actually a log grapple that we got on our rickety ramp and it's gone and we got our beam set up. Hunter's up there passing them down. We're drilling a hole, putting some seven inch lag bolts in them. They fit perfect. They were cut to 16 foot lengths. So he's securing them down now. Uh, we had a lot of trouble with hydraulic fitting. It's a brand new log grapple. I only used it one time, but the male, uh, fittings were just, it was crap. So we spent that gum near an hour. Luckily we had some extra ones to do that. So that's where we are. We used the grapple, moved our mud mats back out of the way, got them stacked up so we can get them out of here with skid steer. This video is gonna end here because this was the part that we had to do while the creek was dry. So if it rains and floods or whatever it does, we're good. Uh, one thing you'll notice is it appears to be pretty high above the banks. But the main reason for that is, is that if and when this creek floods, and it does pretty regular, we don't want any of the bridge in the flowing water and the, and the force of the water trying to make the bridge go away. The only parts gonna be in the water are the pylons, and I hope they don't catch enough water to cause problems. That dam tool is loud. Uh, so we're finishing this up. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we've headed back to the duck hole to get to a stopping point on that. Check us out up there on the duck hole again.